Here at Pipedream, we're excited to announce we've just added first-class support for the GitLab Audit Event Streaming API. The GitLab Audit Event Streaming API is a webhook-based API that will emit events whenever your projects, groups, or their subgroups have changes made. This is perfect for listening to events where certain sensitive settings are changed and you wanna make sure that they're allowed. In this demo, we're gonna show you how to create a workflow that will monitor your merge request approval rules settings, and if they change, create a brand new issue on your GitLab project to notify your security team about the change. So let's start with a brand new Pipedream workflow, and the first step is to define a trigger. The trigger is what initiates this workflow to run, and since we're listening to events on the GitLab audit streaming API, let's search for GitLab. Opening up the GitLab app, we can see that there's a new audit event option. Selecting this option will set the trigger of this workflow to be an audit event coming from GitLab. The first step will be to connect our GitLab account. And nice thing about using Pipedream is that we don't have to code by hand the whole OAuth handshake, retrieving the profile, retrieving the token, then using it for future requests. Pipedream handles that all for you. Now we can go ahead and just select our sample project and we'll create this source. Now under the hood, what this did was communicate with the GitLab audit streaming event API and register a brand new webhook. And you can see that this webhook already emitted a new event that was sent back to Pipedream. And let's look at it, new audit event. And here we can see all of the details associated with that JSON payload. It looks like a new event streaming destination was made to Pipedream, perfect. But I wanna generate a different type of event. Let's go over to GitLab and open up our project. I will listen to when merge approval requests settings have changed. So I'm going to my general settings and I'm going to look at the merge request approvals. I'm gonna change the approvals required from one person down to zero. Now this could be a very serious lapse in security to allow anyone to merge their own pull request without review or just a general risky operation if you have deployments going off of changes to the main branch, for example. Now that change emitted a webhook by our new events audit API. Let's go back to Pipedream and select a different event. You can see a brand new one was generated by us changing that setting and let's select it. We can, we can see that the number of appro required approvals changed from one to zero. Now that we know that our trigger is working correctly, let's add another step to this workflow. I'm going to go scroll to the bottom here, add another step, and search for the GitLab app again. But this time, we're going to create an issue on the project that had this change. So let's choose the Create Issue Action. I'm going to once again select my GitLab account, and from there I can pull in my test project. And let's set the title of this to merge request approval setting changed. And then under the description, we can actually pass in the values from that payload. I'm going to select the path to the change itself. Let's also include the from and to values. So let's scroll down to the from, select that path and the to, and select that path as well. Let's just format this message a little bit. We'll actually put in the static text from and to to make it a little bit more readable. And finally, let's assign it to our security team for them to review as soon as this issue has been created. Now we can simply click test to test the entire workflow given that sample event we generated. And here we can see that a successful response was returned. We can see our dynamic description created from our input above. We can even check out the inputs itself and confirm that the description was created correctly with the correct title. Let's go back to GitLab and refresh our issues page. And we could see that a brand new issue was created by our workflow right here in GitLab without us writing any code, maintaining any kind of servers, or adding existing code to another project. Now this is just a short example of what you can accomplish with the GitLab Audit Events API plus Pipedream but you can add additional steps to your workflow, or you can replace it with a request logging library such as Pino, or even upload directly to Datadog or some other monitoring tool. I hope this example was useful to you and your teammates and help you increase security and reliability of your apps without eating up your valuable dev time.